the Spanish Lapland, a commonly used expression to refer to MP Spain, an expanse that duplicates the size of the entire Belgium. However, its demography density is just 7 inhabitants per square kilometer. It is considered as demography desert. A land is full of contrasts, with a natural free and unaltered beauty, where the human presence is rare. A land where in clear days blue skies stand out, and where nightfall millions of sparking stars contrast the black background as light pollution is not existent. A land of broken silence, a silence just broken by the chirping of the birds, cowbells, vegetation swinging as the wind blows, or the sound of running waters through these lands. A couple of years ago, when the COVID was keeping us locked at home, I made my imagination fly away to those lands that seemed to me so close and so far at the same time. Then, I contact Ernesto Pastor, the founder of MP Mountains, a bikepacking route currently designed with the aim of making these lands become into a rebel position. Two years after, together with Burley, we made this idea come true. Going through this land with several bike travelers from different corners of Europe and their best travel mates. Ciao, we are Vero and Nala from Italy. Hola, I am Miquel, he is Luca, we are from Mallorca, Spain. Hello, I'm Iris and this is my dog Zuri and we're both from Germany. Hola, my name is Sergi Nanue and I come from Barcelona. Ahoy, I am Misha from Czech Republic. The goal was to go through this land's her, or the so-called Grand Sewer, with a similar extension to that of Mallorca Island, and where there usually live less than a person per square kilometer. Situated in the Varian Ranch of Mountains, between Guadalajara, Cuenca and Teruel Province, where the Tajo River rises and flows from the east to west across the Varian Peninsula to meet the city of Lisbon. An exciting and towed itinerary to discover these solitary lands. That in an incomprehensible way have the qualification of being one of the most despopulated places in Europe. But maybe, and just maybe, it will be better to continue this way. Finally, the long for day came. Up to that moment we had just talked on the phone and we had only met through social networks. This fact resulted into a bigger challenger if possible, traveling with strangers and their dogs through a pedaling full of experience to unknown lands. That was an exciting moment and passed while making arrangements, loves, nerves and enthusiasm. We tuned up our bikes and trailers, packing all we may need, revising once and again so that we did not leave anything behind us once there will be no way to go back. I believe we were all aware that if we could not preserve our equipment, it would be difficult to reach the end of the journey. At the end of the day, we used to go thoroughly over the route in a relaxed way, trying that the sleep got the better of us, although the excitement we were feeling at that moment made it an impossible task. The challenge of going all over the Spanish Lapland in a self-sufficient way is started. That will put our strengths to the test, transporting all our equipment thanks to the Burley bike trailers. 
in a pedaling full of experience through the silence. The following day, we woke up with a whole way to go through. Suri, Nala and Luca. They, with their stiff ears, were fully aware that the venture was about to begin. They were, in fact, essential and kept instilling all their enthusiasm, love and motivation to the rest of us. I think for Zuri it's it's like the best time of the year when she's on on a journey like this and especially with other people. Zuri loves people and she I mean I was really really happy that she got along with everybody and it, that everybody got along with her. But I mean she's a, she, she, she's such a joyful and yeah joyful spirit and she yeah she just loves people and she likes to cuddle and she loves to run free and so it's it's just the best time for her. I love the dogs. Uh, for me, it's really nice to see them uh, looking into the forest and watching the sky, maybe close uh, their eyes and smell uh, uh, the nature. So I think uh, I can learn uh, a lot of things from them. And uh, traveling with Nala is uh, really special, sometimes heavy, heavier than uh, traveling by myself but uh, I feel safe with, uh, with her, so it's, uh, I can uh, do it uh, without her anymore. <laughs> My dog is a bit young, so it's not very, very, very easy, let's say, to be honest, but we have been practicing and I know he's been really, really happy. I can feel his happiness it's in the nature, running a lot. Also, when he was tired, just going to the trolley. So really happy about that. They protect us and it's really cool, very happy. As the adventure was passing and our daily achievements, it could be perceived that everyone was adapting others. We were aware of the fact that living such an experience will put us to on limits. No doubt, this fact was revealed to us, proving once again that bike in this type of experience will become the best tool of social joining and that we all were learning from each other. We were a team of nine members, six persons and three dogs. So I think it was quite easy to, to travel together and to try to live this adventure on the best way as possible. Yeah, I usually travel alone, so this experience was different for me, but I really liked it. I, it's, it was amazing for me to meet so many people that have the same spirit and the same um, that they also like to travel, they love bicycles, they like nature, they like camping and so it was super cool to have so much time with people that are similar to me. It has been incredible and really surprised me how each of us we adapt to the others and in the same time with the environment. Collaborating and always ready to help our bike mates creating a beautiful pack. I love uh, meeting uh, new people and uh, try to share with them uh, something of my life and uh, in this case uh, I found a new friend because uh, we have a lot of uh, things in common like uh, love for, uh, for traveling, uh, love for the nature, for uh, while camping so it was uh, really nice uh, uh, to share uh, um, 
the dinner, the lunch all together, a bath in the river, uh, the views, uh, some pictures. Uh, was a really nice experience. So I think uh, uh, I would like to, to do another experience like that one. Along the route on our passer route, we encountered many shelters for the use of travelers, seasonal migration of livestock shepherds or hunters. In occasions, they help us to keep our dreams. Also, the unbelievable spots, which in these lands are plenty, gave us the opportunity to overnight under the stars or the moonlight night, which accompanied us during the first nights. Undoubtedly, we were attracted much more to the possibility of spending the night in the open. In this way, we wouldn't need to reach the shelter the following day. This gave us the freedom to stop and rest where we wanted. Not to mention the fact that making a fire and sitting around it and sharing the experience of the journey was something not to be underestimated, and so we could not help enjoying it. The places here are really wild. The incredible was to be all the time in the touch with the nature and having the possibilities to see so many animals. Montañas Bacias is a unique place to find places to camp because, well, as we've seen in all over the images, it's a very isolated place. There is almost no other human beings around and especially there is nature everywhere and there is a lot of like trees and grass to camp and to find good places to camp. You can uh, uh, stay into the wild, but uh, every night uh, it's quite... Uh... <laughs> heavy sometimes because uh, you are tired and uh, you have to put your tent, uh, to uh, put the mattress inside, the sleeping bag. Camping has been amazing, like I've, I really loved the first night there in the forest, it was really beautiful and I think after we made a good job finding good spots in the between trees and perfect shadows. The Spanish Lapland has the power of making you feel tiny and insignificant at the same time. The absence of civilization and the lack of broadband coverage that usually fed our virtual life make someone admire the natural elements around us. These get even more strength and personality with the occurrence of our trivialities. An nature inebriated by this perseverance stand and revelate to us with its rock range of impossible geometry, valleys, forests, hollows and mountains, all in harmony where the passage of the time does not alter animal customs and where only humans seem to disturb. Fully aware that our journeys were going to be particularly demanding, although we will not really know that until we go there. We went over days of an average of 60 kilometers and a cumulative positive destiny of 1000 meters, carrying nearly 50 kilos in our trailers. Definitely, we can all remember a particular hard day, with a final stand inclined over 70%. It's really amazing to see all the wilderness that we have around. These mountains really are empty mountains because we don't see anyone and it's a unique experience to be here on our own. Leading our bodies and dogs to exhaustion. It was a beautiful day, quite hard, but it was worth it, so now we will enjoy, I think, very much sleeping. After all, the reward of watching the sunset at the top. Wow, was an intense day today. We were mostly of the day in the afternoon. We have 32, 33 degrees and all the, this stage was up and down, up and down, up and down. And the end is incredible, like 17, 18% of this nivel and was intense. But now we have a beautiful, beautiful downhill. and a sleep at the camping of Peralejos de las Truchas, where a relaxing hot shower was awaiting for us. Something we have to keep in mind was not only to control our energies, but also our dogs. 
working out properly the distance between the different point of drinking water and our food supplies at the possibilities of provisioning were rare. On the other hand, the lack of being able to communicate between us via smartphones made us pedaling together without leaving anyone behind. There is much planning and thinking behind a project like this one. The persistent question is always the same one. Will we be able to go the route to the end? This question keeps coming to our minds every now and then. However, the answer does not come until the last kilometer leading us to our objective. It's covered and therefore the culmination of our goal. Left behind are these days of struggling, suffering, and excitement, encouraging finishing, and when it is finally fulfilled, you find yourself with a bittersweet feeling of joy for the success just achieved, but with sorrow at the experience has met its end. I really enjoy that I was really sad when the experience just finished because we have to say goodbye. I think it was the most difficult moment. Um. But definitely we will have incredible memories. In that very moment, it's when we focus and hold on to our next adventure to come. It is the beginning of a new cycle, which undoubtedly is what makes life worth living.